one change to every killer in DVD. Kings and Queens, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to be giving one change that we would personally make to every single killer in DVD. A big thank you to Zach on our Discord for helping me with this video. With that being said, let's not waste time and let's jump on in to the changes we would make. Starting off with the Trapper. So Trapper is my main, as you know, and overall, he has some pretty good changes already. The only change that I would make if I had to only make one is making it so that it would be a less of a hassle to go out of your way finding these traps. If the trap spawns were made so that they're closer to generators or similarly to hunters or trickster, you could get them at the bottom of a locker. It would be considerably more easy to do this rather than walking halfway across the map trying to pick up a trap in just a random location. I think they can easily do this and it'll make the Trapper feel a lot better to play. The Wraith is up next on the list and he's already pretty good where he's at. The main thing that he can use is some add-on adjustments, but if we had to make a major change maybe to the base kit, I'd say you get about 20% of sh the Shadow Dance effect uh, applied when he is cloaked, obviously adjusting the Shadow Dance add-ons accordingly. And that's pretty much the only change that we would make for the Wraith. Hillbilly is pretty much the same thing as well. Besides the overheat mechanic, Hillbilly is pretty much the same that he's always been. The only thing that I would do is change and fine tune some of his add-ons. A lot of them are quite useless and they realistically are just more gimmicky add-ons, but I think if we made it so that he had some better ones, it would be quite nice. Next on the list is the nurse, and I think this one is pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, blink attacks are special attacks, that's pretty much it. So that way, you won't be hit with these haunted grounds, make your choice things, and it becomes super unbearable. A lot of people have been debating this and saying that nurse might be a little bit too powerful, and I think doing something like this would just be way more significant and would help out a lot more, rather than having a nurse just have haunted grounds or make your choice or whatever the case may be, and instantly just knocking people down, making it even easier than it already is. Don't get me wrong, nurse is one of the hardest killers to play, but if you really mastered a nurse, that just makes it so much more easier. Next person on the list is the Huntress, and honestly, Huntress is pretty fine. The only thing that I would make adjustments to is probably the hitboxes. Sometimes you get hit around corners and it just doesn't make sense. I know that the hitboxes, the last time we've at least seen them, were more of an oval beach ball shape, and they did try it out where it was a little bit different. Maybe if they revisited that idea yet again, it could be quite nice, but overall, Huntress is in a pretty comfortable place, in my opinion. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, we're live on Twitch right now as you're watching this video. Our schedule will be on screen as well. We have restarted our streaming career, essentially. I'm planning on streaming a lot more, so I'd love to see you guys coming on out. Sunday to Thursday, we will be streaming from 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time up until 3 or 4 o'clock, so make sure you guys are coming out to the stream. The next killer that is on the list is our boy Myers. And Myers, to me, is one of those killers that's really mediocre. I think it'll be better if we bring him in line a little bit more with Ghostface, where you can have survivors regain stock over time, so he can't potentially run out of his power. This way, you can easily just continue to use his power throughout the match, and that will make it so much better than it already is. Next on the list is the Hag, and there's only one change that I would do to Hag. Again, it's just looking into her add-ons. I feel like a lot of them are very similar to the ones that she already has. A nice little add-on pass would do good, or even just fine tweaking it so they're not as similar as some of the other ones, so you're always using the same things over and over and over again, with the exceptions, obviously, of her ultra rares and some of the purples. Everything else is pretty much the same. If I had to make a different change, I would say that you couldn't put traps so close to hooks when people are on the hooks, make it that there is a distance limit to other traps or even uh, how close you can place it in proximity to the hook. And besides that, that's pretty much it. Next on the list is a doctor. And this is a little bit of a more cool and interesting one that I thought for him. You know how his, you know, doctor imaginary illusions pop up. What if they actually moved a little bit? So it actually looks like the doctor is turning the corner or walking towards you. This would actually make DBD a lot more fun, especially when playing against the doctor because it would scare the survivors a lot more. And obviously there's some add-ons that you could run to make this really interesting. I think this could be really cool and it's the first time we'll actually see a little bit more AI in the game. 
uh, with the exception of a few things, but I think that will be pretty awesome. Next on the list, we have Bubba. Uh, Bubba making use of the chainsaw feel more smooth and less clunky by having changes automatically. Bubba is next on the list, and we have a pretty simple like comfort of life change. Basically, whenever you're using the chainsaw to make it feel more smooth and less clunky, basically make it so that all your tokens are automatically consumed. That's kind of what the ultra rare add-on does, and it just works. It continues to go until you basically press the stop consuming button or stop using the power button and then that's when it would stop so instead of having to wait until you need to use another charge just make it automatically use the charges so you can continue to use this power without having to eye in the corner if it's time to use it or not and then it'll be a lot smoother less clunky and you can use the button again to make it so that you can stop using the power the next killer on the list is freddy and we just need a little bit more dream illusion abilities as well as being able to cycle through them like how the clown plays with his different bottles and that would be super cool so obviously we have the snares and the pallets imagine if you took the two of them and combined them freddy's one of the weaker killers in the game now so it makes sense that something like that could happen and if there's even more abilities that you could cycle through or maybe has better synergy with some of these i think that would be pretty cool and that would be a change that i would make Next on the list is the pig and oh man I always talk about pig every single time and it's the same story every single time there's so many add-ons that can just be used into the base kit in my opinion you know I just wish a lot of the add-ons that she has were just embedded into her base kit making her ambush attack specifically a lot better than it already is having that big roar and then once everybody knows you're the pig it makes it so difficult to get the ambush attacks and the only time you will get it is if you're at an unsafe pallet and the survivor chooses not to run away from that which would be a very bad choice on their part so mainly all you're really doing is placing rng traps which people would eventually get off and then your secondary power is pretty much useless so making that actual crouching ability and dash attack a little bit more viable would be so much more nice in my opinion the next killer on the list is the clown and mainly we would make more adjustments for some more interesting effects they started off well with having the two different powers one that speeds you up one that slows the survivor down but imagine if they made a little bit more similar to the power that we mentioned about freddy if clown had different bottles or even different add-ons that could do different things i think that would be a lot cooler like imagine if his kit for whatever reason had one bottle that charged up every single generator that could potentially give the exposed status effect kind of like his ultra rare uh, every single time a generator is popped so you could have five in total could make the game interesting I don't know it could make him a lot more viable than he already is next on the list is the spirit this one is pretty bland and straightforward the base skin on spirit she's pretty fine she is good where she's at uh, but add-ons definitely need a little bit of adjustments in the sense of nerfing and buffing certain add-ons um, and yeah that's pretty much all I got to her Next up is Legion, and they're pretty much the same exact thing as Spirit. I think there just needs to be a few minor adjustments to some of the add-ons. As much as I love some of these add-ons, like Never Stop Sleeping Pills combined with Mural Sketch is literally like a no-brain easy tactic to just win. You know, you literally just see where the survivors are, stab them, continue to continue. I mean, I got 25 Feral Frenzy stab downs in one match by using that add-on combination. It's absolutely cracked. Uh, so some add-on adjustments could definitely be in line for the Legion. Uh, next on the list is the Plague, and if I had to make a change, honestly, it would be to make no change. The Plague is completely fine where she's at. Uh, she has good add-on diversity. Her base kit is fine, and I, I like her where she's at. I think she's in a pretty comfortable, uh, spot. So we're gonna keep her where she's at. Next on the list is the Ghost Face. Uh, a cool little idea that Zach came up with was a photograph mechanic, uh, which would be so much more cooler than what they already have for Ghostface. Uh, and it gives more of a differentiation between Myers stalking and Ghostface stalking. It's essentially where Ghostface would have a camera and look at the survivors. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, 
Not only that, but we went into full depth on how the camera would be different and not just like a cosmetic that you're looking through. We'll have more info on that. That reminds me, if you guys really do enjoy this video, we'll go more in depth on every single killer and really, really talk about some of these changes even more. So if you want to see that, make sure you leave a like down below and we'll talk about it in some other videos. Next on the list is the Demogorgon. Demogorgon is very similar to some of the other killers. Uh, just a little bit more add-on diversity. Besides that, Demogorgon's in a pretty balanced and good state. You don't really want to mess with the killers too much that are already in a comfortable position, but some add-on diversities would be nice to really spice things up for them. Next on the list is the Oni. Uh, Oni is pretty good. He is great power-wise. It's super fun and super interesting, but again, similar to Demogorgon and some of the other killers, the add-ons just kind of lack. Besides that, he's in a pretty comfortable position where his power is pretty strong if you do the right thing. Uh, and realistically, the only add-ons that you normally see is top knot. So I would love to see some more diversity with the add-ons to make his power a little bit more unique and interesting. Maybe even make it so that different cosmetics give the Fury different colors. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Next on the list is the Dead Slinger. I think this one's pretty obvious. You need a little bit slightly faster ADS time. Not quite where it was because, you know, they obviously changed that for a reason. But it's so slow to realistically aim in and then shoot the gun. Uh, I think a lot of people just have to take so much time with their shots now. And it makes it a lot more difficult to get those chases down really quickly when you're moving at 110 because by the time you aim in a survivor can quickly turn a corner uh i'm not the best with that slinger so maybe it's just me but i think a little bit faster ads won't hurt anybody next on the list is pyramid head and the change that we would be making to him is that whenever you're using your power your rights of judgment or your long range attack it actually makes that into a trail of torment and that's permanent that will stay there uh for the remainder of the match we'll make it so that if you do it too much like the hag eventually it would replace itself but that would be pretty cool so you don't have to worry about going there again and placing down your trail instead it will automatically be there and if you're doing it by a pallet or a vault you're probably going to be going by a loop or wherever you think you can hit a survivor it'll always stay there so if they try looping again they'll easily just run into it i think that'd be pretty cool next on the list is the blight uh, and Blight has a good power, you know, there's great add-on diversity as well. You can run different things to make it a lot more fun. You know, you can run the race car Blight, you can run whatever you like. Um, but some are a little bit stronger than others, no doubt in my mind. Uh, so more or less just uh, fixing up the problematic ones. I mean, let's talk about Alchemist Ring. It is absolutely cracked. Uh, and some of the other ones are just mind-boggling how good they are. So... Uh, just adjusting the ones that are really, really cracked and up there would be a good change. Next on the list is the twins. Now, I should have spoken to Linksy about this one because she has tons and tons of twins advice. But like I said, we will make a video going more in depth on every single character and they'll all have their own distinct videos. So if you want to see that, leave a like down below. Uh, but what I think would be cool is if Victor doesn't die when he's on top of obstacles, but you just won't be able to switch back to Charlotte or something like that. This will allow you to have some more interesting pounces, uh, only in certain spots where actually killing Victor for if he really gets stuck. So if you're in a position where you realistically can't go anywhere, Victor will die. But imagine if you like bounce on top of like a little box and then you can just pounce somewhere instead of just instantly dying. Obviously, people want to be able to kick you, but it will be a much more difficult shot to pull off if you are playing as Victor. And I think that'll be pretty cool. The reason you won't be able to switch back while you're on an object is obviously no one can kill Victor from that point. So it makes more sense to have it that way. Next on the list is the Trickster, a Comfort of Light thing. We could just make it so that there's more unique animations when he's throwing things and a few different effects, maybe even different colors. You know, that's just aesthetically to make it more pleasing. Uh, but if you're able to hold main event as long as you need, I think that'll be a pretty cool thing. Maybe not as long as indefinite where you're just like on top of a survivor and there's nothing that they can do, but it will be quite nice if you have a bigger window to use it. Obviously, they made adjustments to this and I think it was okay, but realistically, again, if the time runs out, you won't get to use main event and then you have to charge it all the way back up again. So I think having the ability to use it when you want would be a lot better. Maybe just open the time frame a little bit more. Next on the list is the Nemesis. Uh, this would be a pretty cool one. And the change that we have is to have some level of control over the zombies, as well as more benefits from tearing up. 
Uh, obviously it's supposed to be one change, but you can pick or choose which one. Having controls over the zombies would make it so that you can zone them in certain areas or tell them to hover around this area rather than being halfway across the map where no one's at. Obviously this would be a little bit more oppressive, so that would be pretty good. Uh, on top of that, the benefits of tearing up are pretty bland. Every time you tear up, you only increase your tentacles range a little bit more and then the speed a little bit more. It would be nice if every time it's more significant when you tear up that it actually has some meaning and some value behind it. I think that one would be a more predominant change that I would focus on and it could be a lot more fun. Next on the list is the bin head. Uh, the change that we got is that hitting with a chain decreases chain hunt timer by a certain amount of time. Obviously, uh, affected add-ons will need to be changed, but I think that will be a solid change for Pinhead. So obviously, whenever you're hitting someone with a change, this will decrease the chain hunt timer by a certain amount, wherever, you know, they feel is comfortable. Next on the list is the artist, and realistically, artist is in a fine place, but I don't want to give you the bland answer again or saying, you know, just look into some add-ons. So I'll give you an example of something that I thought of. Imagine there was an ultra rare or a really cool add-on that made her power a little bit more unique where at any point in time, if she places a dire crow, uh, instead of it, you know, flinging in the direction, instead, if she walks a certain distance or goes a certain way, if she pressed the ability button, it would actually, like, in a way, make her fly or go super fast to that crow. Uh, I think that would be pretty interesting. Imagine, like, if she places a crow in front of her, and then she, like, zooms forward, and any survivor uh, that's in the way, she automatically hits, and then she cleans her weapon instead of the crows doing it, it could be a little bit interesting. I don't know, it's just a weird idea I had in my head, but I think it would be pretty awesome if we saw something like that. Next on the list is the Onryo. Uh, and I got some pretty good changes to the Onryo as well. Uh, what we got is TVs take 45 seconds rather than 100 seconds to turn back on if it's projected to. This will make it so that getting tapes to turn them off automatically would be worth it and definitely necessary. It's no doubt in my mind that this killer needs some buffs, and 45 seconds rather than 100 would be a lot more oppressive than that. That way, there's actually a big sense of impending doom coming, and you gotta worry about putting those tapes in. Because realistically, if you just don't think about it, you just leave it be, nothing will happen. You'll be completely fine. In rare situations, you'll have to be like, alright, let me get the tape and push it in. But besides that, that's pretty much it. Uh, next on the list is the dredge. And dredge, I think, is a little bit too new for me to really give some solid changes to. I think dredge is pretty good where they're at. Uh, so far, the power is great. It feels fun teleporting around. I, I think dredge is beautifully balanced and there's nothing I would really change at all. Uh, maybe just give him a little bit better cosmetics. And of course, our final killer would be Wesker. Uh, just think the trapper is Wesker. Uh, there's tons of changes that I would make to Wesker, but we'll save that for another day because they're probably going to be making those changes anyway. So I don't want to jump the gun and say anything. And everyone in the future that watches this video is like, they already did those things. So we'll save that for when we're doing this series fully. But there you go. That is one change that I would make to every killer. Some of them, I like I said, are a little bit more bland because a lot of the killers are in comfortable positions where the others have some different and unique changes. What are some changes that you guys would make to some of these killers? Leave it in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think about what I said. I would love to hear that as well. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Leave a like if you did enjoy as it helps the channel so much. And shout out to Zach again. And don't forget, we are live on Twitch as well. Would love to see you out there. As always, I'm the king. I tip my crown to you guys. And we'll see you in the vlog. Living life like a king. Gold on my neck, boy. Gold on my rings. Crown got the till. I ain't worried about the ting here. Flow so new, but I'm acting like I've been here. Yeah, yeah. See, this what I've been doing since the drop. Fire on the arrow when I tell them all to knock. Once I get it going, ain't no...